What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick here back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Blackpink at Coachella. So if you're a new Blink here or if you're a fan of K-pop, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the Andy gang. I'd love to have you guys here. Now, I just want to bring this up because man, we got to talk about this. Blackpink making history. They headline Coachella. This is important for K-pop. This is important for music. This is important for the culture. And uh, as a Blink, I'm super excited. And just as a K-pop fan, I'm super excited. This is going to break down some doors for um, the next generation of K-pop groups and just for K-pop in general, right? Because this is important. And Blackpink doing it made me cry uh, very quickly into my reaction, which is on my Patreon, um, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Um I, I was already crying. And again, um, you guys are probably noticing my full reaction to Coachella um, is not posted here on YouTube. That's because YouTube blocks it. And Coachella is the main reason why they block it. I tried uploading shorts. It didn't work. You've seen one about Lisa. I had to edit that one like crazy. Um, I tried to upload more, but uh, it got blocked. And if you guys want proof, I'll literally tweet it out. I got the email saying, no, no, this isn't going to happen. So you guys will see the pinned comment down below. The very first comment, please go check it out. That is my Patreon. Um, Andrew Pillick on Patreon. Again, pinned comment down below. Uh, my full reaction to Coachella is on here. As you guys can see, Blackpink Coachella full set reaction. This is the preview that says 30 seconds, but it's over an hour long. That reaction was so long. I sat there and I watched it, but I was super excited to do it. And uh, yeah, but we're going to talk about Coachella this whole video here. But if you guys are going to listen to anything, please, for the next couple minutes, please just listen to what I have to say. Um, it would mean the world to me because this is very important to me. So like I said, my reaction is on Co for Coachella is on my Patreon, which is the pinned comment down below. You guys will see it. It is patreon.com slash Andrew Pillick, as you can see right there. Um this is very important to me. So basically, um, I'm going to be posting a ton of content on there uh, because some stuff YouTube blocks, right? Like I can't help it. Like they'll re they'll they'll block some reactions like live stages, as you can see here, um, like flower stages. I've got stage mixes. I've got VMA stuff, ITZY stages, YG reactions, run BTS, literally anything that you can think of. There's tons of content on here um, and I'm going to be posting a ton and I'll get to these tiers in a second, but, uh, and we're going to get to the main video in a second, but this would change my life. If you guys supported me on Patreon, I've been wanting to do YouTube full time for the whole time I've been on here and I can't make it happen. I work over 50 hours and jobs outside of YouTube and I can't do Patreon and do all this other stuff and do YouTube full time without your guys' help. So please, I'd greatly appreciate it. There's three different tiers. And uh, as you can see in the first one, you get access to videos that can't be uploaded to YouTube, like live videos, Blackpink House, live stages, streams, car singing videos, run BTS and more, written posts. Um, I'm going to be doing Blackpink K-pop Reddit videos, full album reviews, treasure map, itsy, itsy, behind the scenes vlogs. Then the next one, the Andy Gang Captains, which has a lot of stuff in it. You get the first tier plus K-drama and anime reactions. The Idol, when Jenny is going to be in the Idol, I'll be doing reactions to that. That's going to be in that tier. Um, Drive With Me video, so you get all of this plus this. And then the last one, Andy's Family. This one, you get a guaranteed one video reaction request for YouTube or Patreon every single month. Like it is guaranteed that I'm going to do it because I get so many recommendations and I have a list. But being in this tier, you're guaranteed to get your video watched. Um, plus a personalized thank you message literally every single month. A thank you, a birthday shout out or whatever it is, you will get it. So this is my Patreon. And like I said, already the, the full Coachella performance is on there. I'm going to be posting on this like three or four times a week. And if I go on YouTube full time, I might be posting on there every single day. But there's tons and tons of content on there. Um, but again, if you guys want to help me make my dreams come true, please support me on Patreon. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I want to be a full-time creator. The link to that Patreon is the pinned comment down below. Thank you guys so much. I'd really, really appreciate it. It's a monthly thing. 
and uh, it would help me. And it's very, it's not expensive at all. Like it's basically like not buying a coffee for, for, for one, one more coffee a month. Like it's, it's so cheap, but it would help me like so much and I'd greatly appreciate it. So sorry for that, that long blur, but I wanted to at least announce it because my Patreon hasn't been working for so long. And now there's tons of content on there for you guys and lots more to come. Anyways, uh, Coachella, groundbreaking stuff. Jenny, Jisoo, Rose, and Lisa, the 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 absolute queens of Coachella. Um, I was very, very excited with the intro. I thought that it was well done. I thought the stage was fantastic. Like their dancers, my God, they were so incredible. Um, I believe Kel Tutton was one of them. There was a bunch of dancers that I've watched on YouTube for years that were a part of that performance. Just a bunch of people that I thought were like insane. Like they were amazing. And you'll see on my Patreon, if, if you guys subscribe there, that Coachella performance was like bringing me to tears multiple times. Like the first couple songs, like I genuinely, excuse me, put my hand over my face and started crying. And it wasn't because of like disbelief or like being shocked. I, I was just so proud and I almost want to start crying right now. Like I was just so proud that they went on that stage and they rocked it and they killed it like they always do. Like Blackpink truly is the revolution. When when people like say that or when Blackpink says it, like it's not just a catchphrase. It's not just a saying. It's truly like real. Like they're literally the revolution. They go out there and they constantly give us everything that they've got every single performance and they always kill it. Um, I, I put a, a thing on Twitter, a tweet on uh, Twitter saying like, what was your biggest surprise? And for me, it was Kick It. When Kick It started playing, I was so excited. And you'll see it on Patreon. Like I was so excited. Um, I couldn't believe it, honestly. Like they haven't been doing Kick It a lot in their shows. Um, Kick It wasn't a part of my show when we went to the Hamilton uh, tour. They didn't play Kick It. And that's one of my top five favorite Blackpink songs. I'm pretty sure like if I was to really narrow it down, like I love Kick It. I think it's a really good feel good song. It's like a summer song. So for Coachella, it was perfect. So I was really surprised there. I genuinely thought we might see Selena Gomez um, because man, could you imagine ice cream at Coachella? That would have been crazy, but it didn't happen. But that's fine. Gave gave the Blackpink um, discography its chance to work. Get, get them to perform a bunch of their songs. Um, they got to switch up a lot of their choreography, which was cool. Um, like in Pretty Savage, they switched up a little bit. Forever Young. Like they switched up a lot of stuff. Um, the remixes of the songs. Like that that Lisa Money remix. Oh my God. The lyrics were crazy to that. Um, Jenny, like when she was like, Coachella, I want to hear you. And scream! I was like, like, and again on again on Patreon, you have to see my reaction. I tried posting it to YouTube as a short, and it didn't work. It got blocked. Oh my god! Like that was crazy. The energy was real. The crowd was amazing, and that's another thing. I kept seeing tweets like, "Oh, the crowd is dead. Nobody wants to listen to them." Bro, there was people passing out before they even started performing because they were like going nuts. The crowd wasn't dead. The crowd was alive. They were very happy. You could hear it. And what people need to understand about Coachella is Coachella plays the audio coming out of the microphones and the backtracks, and they don't capture all of the song, like, uh, or sorry, all of the crowd, right? Because they're trying to give the, the live stream um, like a clear sound when it comes out of their microphone. So you could hear Blackpink singing and rapping. You could um, hear a little bit of the backtrack or the, the background vocals, but you couldn't always hear the crowd was, is because of the stream. If you were live at Coachella, you could hear it because I seen lots of videos and people were going crazy. It was way louder than it showed on the stream. Um, I love the solo performances. Seeing Jisoo perform Flower was beautiful, getting her shine before Coachella. I'm so glad that it came out before Coachella because I didn't want to see her do a solo stage um, of like liar or something else like that because she deserves to show off what she's been working on and flower sounded awesome and all eyes on me um, it just it's just amazing right um, she 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 didn't get a chance to perform both but 
Uh, she just sounded amazing. Um, you got Rose doing a little bit of Gone and then On the Ground. Of Obviously, I love On the Ground. It's a beautiful track. Um, Moonlight or You and Me. I believe it's actually called You and Me uh, by Jenny. She killed that. Uh, and then, of course, Money by Lisa. Just everybody's solo stage was so beautiful. But again, I got to give credit to the dancers as well. Transitioning throughout the performances, they were dancing a lot. Uh, the band, everybody was wicked there. They had their actual band. I don't think they had their YG dancers for um, for the performance because I didn't see Silver Gun or, or Lee Jung or any of the, the regular like crazy uh, dancers. So it, it was kind of weird not having them there because it would have been cool to see them there. I think they did the first Coachella performance, um, but I'm sure they obviously helped because they come up with a lot of the choreography in unison with uh, with the with the pinks, with the girls. So. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really excited for what's next. The world got to see what Blackpink has to offer, right? They've already been blowing up. They've been doing amazing, but the world definitely got to see why we all love Blackpink. Why, why we all support them so much, right? Like why Blinks really love them so much. It's because of their talent. It's because of their attitudes. It's because of the way that they support their fans and how we support them back. It's a big loving friendship and relationship between artist and fan. And I think that it's a beautiful family. Blinks are a family. And I'm so grateful to be a part of it. And uh, I was just so excited seeing them. They, they just did absolutely incredible. Uh, I loved all of the versions of the song. I loved the way that they interacted with the crowd. And uh, it was loud. Don't let anybody tell you that that wasn't good and that Blackpink didn't kill that or that it was quiet in the crowd. They, they did everything that they were supposed to and everybody was happy. You could see people crying and above all else, like I said at the beginning. Wow, I can't even put it into words. This was a moment. This, this, this was a moment for, for, for music. This was a moment for K-pop. This was a moment for women. This was a moment for women in K-pop. This was a, this was a, uh, a win for the culture, Right? Blackpink did something that people just don't do. They went, they kicked down a door and and they performed and headlined Coachella. They did that. They like they literally did something that people didn't think was possible. They're going to perform at the Super Bowl one day. People go, "Oh, that won't happen." Yeah, it's gonna. Because they're the revolution. I'm telling you, I don't sit here and hate on other groups because I hope they all do it one day. But as a blink, I'm just proud to know that they did it. And I hope all groups get to do it. Honestly, I really do. I hope all artists get a chance to do this kind of thing. Like shout out to all the different K-pop artists that were performing. Like I know, I know Jackson Wang was at Coachella. That's dope. Shout out to Jackson Wang one time. Like we got to show each other love and raise each other up. I'm so excited for Blackpink. I think they did incredible. And I'm really excited to see what they do next. Because we all know it's going to be incredible. So if you guys are new here, like, subscribe, check the pinned comment down below. Please, please help me change my life. I'd love to be able to post so much for you guys um, and give you guys content even more than I already am. Back, back when I used to post three, four times a day was when I was in school. Now I have that opportunity if I go full time on YouTube. Um... Again, there's different tiers. You've obviously seen my Coachella stuff is there. There's live stages, everything. I'm posting a ton on there. So please go and support me. Patreon.com slash Andrew Pillick. If you want to help change my life, you have no idea how grateful I'll be. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And uh, like I said, pin comment down below. Check it out. Uh, support me there. Again, love you guys so much. Thank you. Blackpink is a revolution. Coachella 2023. Go support those girls. Peace.